Ministry of Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change, MESTEC, will be shipping back 450 metric tons of contaminated plastic waste contained in 10 containers immediately while running in an inspection process on more than 50 containers which was illegally brought in. A total of 3,000 metric tons of plastic waste from 60 containers are expected to be shipped back once the containers are fully inspected. The laborious and costly inspection process was necessary to identify the content of the containers and its exporting country. To date, MESTEC through Department of Environment, DOE, has inspected 123 containers originating from countries such as United Kingdom, United States, Japan, China, Spain, Canada, Australia, Netherlands, Germany, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Bangladesh, Norway and France. To date, DOE has led 10 joint operations at Port Klang. The inspection process will still be ongoing. The joint operation was led by DOE together with Royal Malaysian Customs, Royal Malaysian Police, Port Klang Authority, National Solid Waste Management Department and Westports Malaysia. As a party to the Basel Convention, Malaysia imposes strict requirements in line with the Article 411 of the Convention for all importation of mixed plastic waste to ensure that any transboundary movement is conducted in a manner which will protect human health and environment. We will continue to weed out the import of contaminated plastic waste, the import of garbage from other countries. These containers were illegally brought in to the country under false de declaration and other offences which clearly violates our environmental law. I give you an example. Through our investigation, we uncover a recycling factory, a recycling company in the UK has been a constant exporter of plastic waste to Malaysia for the past two years. They have accu cumulatively exported more than 1,000 containers, just one company alone, yeah, which amount to more than 50,000 metric tons of plastic waste from the UK. Just one recycling company in the UK, we get 1,000 containers for the past two, two years in our investigation. This is because this recycling company are dumping this so the, what the citizens of the UK believe that they send for recycling is actually dumped in our country. And this is something that is very serious. And we do not only found this one company, we have found a few companies from different countries. We are compiling the list of the so-called recycling companies from this developed country and we will send back, send the list of these uh, names of these companies to the respective governments to take, uh, to take further actions against uh, an investigation for this, uh, these companies in their respective countries. Now we know that garbage, like what you see just now, is traded under the pretext of recycling. Malaysians are forced to suffer poor air quality due to open burning of plastics, which leads to health hazards, polluted rivers, illegal landfills and a host of other related environmental problems. Malaysians, like any other developing countries, have a right to clean air, clean water, sustainable resources and clean environment to live in, just like citizens of developed nations. That is why we are here to urge the developed countries to also review their management of plastic waste and stop shipping garbage out to the developing countries. If they ship to Malaysia, we will return it back without mercy. And we would like to also ask them to take responsibility, not only from this side, that we curb the import of it, and we hope that it actually is curbed at the source. To be very opaque with your own 
taxpayers about recycling waste and then dump the garbage, the garbage into our country is unfair and uncivilized. We also view the Malaysians who actually import the garbage to Malaysia is they are traitors to the country's sustainability and therefore they should be stopped and brought to justice. We would like to once again stress that both Malaysians government, the Malaysians and also the foreign uh, governments who export the waste have responsibility to make sure that transboundary garbage movement it, do not happen again. <laughs>